how you guys doing today? So this video will pretty much gonna show you how I removed my rear bumper on my Toyota SW20 MR2. Um, and once again, I'm not a professional mechanic. I'm not, a, not, I'm not an MR2 expert, nor am I trying to be one. Um, I just do this based on what I learned off Google, you know, forums and um, my Facebook friends. And um, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, subscribe. And if you like more of these videos, just give me some support, guys. So um, go ahead and uh, get these are the tool set that I have. So the first off, you want to get some regular pliers, um, quarter inch uh, wrench, wrench. This one is what you need, the one with the, um, with the neck, adjustable neck. 8 mil um, with a little um, fill up you don't have to if you're gonna jack up your car so this is what I do pretty much when the car sits lower um, without any jacks 10 millimeter socket fill up screwdriver um, like a tray for all your nuts and bolts um, this is to kind of like make my job a lot quicker um, just remove never use this when you're tightening okay so always use this when you loosen it up uh, that's what I use just use it carefully the Milwaukee, this tool is, um, is really speed adjustable, so it's really nice. Um, the Milwaukee 10 mil, uh, you, don't need, you don't need this tool, but um, just the 10 mil socket. A small flathead, um, trim piece remover. This is very good to take out, take out the trims of the bumper. And these are Toyota assorted retainers, clips and stuff. So you can get this on Amazon. Um, I'll put the, the link below. But um, yeah, this is what you need anyways when you do kind of like interior or bumper or any kind of like, you know, fender work. So, um, all right, let's go ahead and get to it. Cool. All right, so the first step, what you want to do is you want to um, remove the tail lights, both tail lights. There's some bolts behind the center panel and then um, pry out the side as well. You can watch my other video on how we do the cookie lights. All right, so let's go ahead and remove the tail lights and then um, we'll go from there. All right, the next step is go ahead and remove the center panel. Um, don't be surprised if some of the, some of the bolts or some of the, um, the clips are broken, which is pretty common on these things. Um, there it is. So it's hold on by two of these screws. This one's already missing. Um, so just kind of like wiggle your way out and then these two should pop out right here. Okay? Yeah. We're gonna unplug this, uh, unplug this wire here. This is for the um, the bottom dome light, the, light, the license plate light around here. All right. And then we're gonna unscrew all these little tabs along with this little so fill up. Okay. And then the side moldings. So there's gonna be one here and one here. Okay. And on the outside, this is a regular fill up. We're gonna fill it right here as well. And there's a 10 mil inside here. I'll show you later when I uh, when I get it out. All right, to remove the side molding right here, you um, need a 10 millimeter for these guys right here. For these guys, 10 mil and a 10 mil. And then there's another 10 mil behind here as well. Okay, so it looks like this. So this is the 10 mil inside the, inside the trunk and one more by the edge and there's a fill up screwdriver. I'll fill up a head right here on this on the, on the bottom piece of it. So I'll go ahead and remove those. So I'll get the Phillips screwdriver for this one right here. Okay. And you use one of these guys, 10 millimeter, to go back here and remove the socket with the uh, remove the bolt or the nut. All right, so once the 10 millimeter socket bolt removed here and two over here is removed and the fill has been removed, go ahead and um, um, remove the molding. Uh, what I use is a plastic uh, molding remover, trim remover, so that we don't scratch anything. Um, just kind of like pry it out. Okay. All right, and that's it. That's how you remove the side molding on the bottom. And then we're gonna go ahead and um, undo the mount on the bottom of this by this um, bottom piece right here. There's two bolt, two 10 millimeter socket bolt 
and attached to the to the body. So uh, most of the time they're broken. Some most of the time they're not. So it depends on what kind of car you have or what kind of condition car you have. So um, go ahead and remove those two 10 millimeter socket bolts. All right, that's what I'm talking about right here. So remove this 10 mil and this 10 mil. So this is pretty much holding this piece to the body. And the other side, I believe this other side is broken as well. All right, so go ahead and remove that. Once you remove those two bottom pieces, um, we'll run along here. There's a Phillip right here, Phillip head right here that attached this side to the to the body. And also we're gonna undo all this Phillip um, plastic pieces up here. Uh, don't worry, I mean, some's gonna break, but that's why you have new ones to, to replace them, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Get this piece out without removing this wheel. Get one of these things. Um, once you come out to be this far, go ahead and use a plier and just kind of like turn it by hand. Okay. Um, or you remove the wheel or tire. So after I tried to remove, remove it with the Phillip uh, screwdriver, it won't work. So I went ahead and get one of these step tool, um, with a drill on it, and just kind of go in the middle and just kind of drill them out. Hard time removing this piece right here. So I got one of these step drill and I just kind of point in the middle center of it and just drill it down. Just be careful on it, okay? Once you hit a little tuck, there you go. So that's what you want out of your, um, your drill bit. So just be careful when you're, uh, when you're drilling this um, so you don't over drill it, just enough so that the whole thing pops out. So this is how I do it. So just be careful when you're doing your vehicle. Looks good, no bent, no damages. Same thing down here as well. Okay, so pretty much um, the whole bumper is already loose. It's gonna wiggle its way out. And then don't forget to um, unplug this wire and then push it out. Cause this goes with the bumper the, for the light, for the license plate. And also the US DM one, this, um, this whole piece is one piece covered. The JDM one, this is all cut out and the rear bumper support is different as well. All right, so pretty much the bumper is ready to come out now. Uh, what you wanna do is you wanna pry it from both sides from the fender wall out and the whole thing should come out. pretty much it and also inspect if there's any damages to a car or whatever so I'll uh, go ahead and clean all this out put the new uh, bumper skin on and then um, transfer the light into the new one and we should be good uh, and down here just uh, three three fill up screws so just undo one two and three this whole thing will pop out cool oh yeah and I also forgot um, for apparently this bumper on the bottom there's another set of um, plastic clips around here as well. So this clip is bolted onto the, the rear crash bar on the bottom. Uh, so this car didn't have it, so I didn't have to remove it. But um, yeah, there's usually about one, two, three, and four of them. So just undo those four. And then um, that's how the whole the bottom piece come off. Use your favorite degreaser on all the dirty stuff and then use like a power washer and then to hose it down and of course you always want to clean your um always want to clean your work area all right so let's go ahead and clean up right now the 
the, with your new bumper, um, what, what I usually do is I leave it out in the sun, so that way um, it can like pretty much make it softer. If it's like weird shape and all that flex, it's gonna pop right back into shape when you put it in the sun. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, so it's pretty much looks good. All right, let's go to the, the old one. This is the newer one. Um, again, this thing tends to be broken most of the time because um, the, like people who remove it, they they, they forgot about these and they would just like yank it out really hard. Okay, um, yeah, all the tabs are broken, but it doesn't affect the the fitment at all. Um, it's gonna go into the car just fine. And then um, the JDM one, this is open, and then that's the USDM one that's covered. All right, so let's go ahead and um, and of course get a new one because that one's all beat up already. So cool. All right, let's here install we it. have um, the new, I mean the the old license plate light on, and then the foam in the back of it as well. All right, let's go ahead and put this on the vehicle. All right, so this next part is, um, you wanna get this Toyota kit, like the plastic trim and all that stuff. And then just trying to find the one, the assorted um, Toyota kit. Just trying to basically find the one that actually fit in these grooves. Um, this piece, the bottom ones, and then um, any place that uh, you remove, you wanna find the right one and then just kind of snap it back in place. So just find the one with, with the perfect hole. This one will do. All right, let me see here. All right, looks like the one is a B16. Fits pretty good. All right, so we'll go ahead and put the cover on and then put this on top and then we'll snap it in place. Okay, let's go ahead and put the side molding on. Nut, 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 screw in the bottom. Cool? All right, that's pretty much it. So just go ahead and put your tail lights back on, license plate back on, and then two side moldings in, the bottom pieces are in, and then um, we're all good to go, guys. So I hope you like this video, help you guys. Give me a thumbs up, smash that like button, subscribe button, and then um, I'll make more. All right, guys, have a good day. Later.